Hi everyone, I'm Carol Haycox. I'm just going to show you how I make the exotic lily using the FMM exotic lily cutter. This is going to be a wired one. So in here I have a very heavy gauge wire, so about a 20. So I've put a piece of paste on and I work it with my fingers down, down, down. Now to help you doing that, you can put a little white fat. So dip your wire into the white fat, put your little put your wire through your little sausage and then roll, 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 roll. You can see I'm just holding it, supporting it here, but that rolls that down the wire for you. And on the top, hold, press, press, press. And then take your knife and scriber and make the indents like so. And then just tidy them up with your fingers. And then there's the center. On here, I've got some stamens. Now these are ready-made stamens. So for this, I've just used uh, yellow stamens and they, I've dusted them brown. And I haven't put any color on just yet. A little bit of white tape. I always, always do these one at a time. Because I've only made that center piece, don't go too close. Just come and then with your tape, so just one at a time, making sure they're all coming the same size. A little bit taller than your center. Don't worry if you think, oh, they look uneven. Don't worry about it just yet. And always think hot days are not the best for using your tape because um, your hands get a bit hot and of course your tape needs to be sticky. Right, so we've gone on. I'm going back up right into the bottom of that paste and twist and go down again. Okay, can you see? Now I'm not too anxious about where these are at the moment. Um, because what I'm about to do is just put my little green piece on and just uh, um, moving them around. And if you have a tweezers, a tweezers comes in really handy at this stage, which I shall show you in a few minutes. I'm going to put a bit of green on the bottom of this. Right. So a tiny piece of green. If you have a knife and scriber, use this. But if you haven't got a knife and scriber, use a cocktail stick if that's what you have. So I'm going to break that in half, make it into a little tiny cone. Use your pointed implement into there and open up. Push against your hand. Just a tiny touch of glue. I'm putting the wrong one into the glue. And that twist in, twist in, twist in and stop and mould around. Like so. And it's at this stage that I will just... So you're, when you do your tweezers, just pinch along your stamen and look what it does. It pulls it it curves it for you. So curve till you're happy with each one. Like so. Now I've got my... Your, your set comes with um, embossers in it. So you want to... Your veiners that you want to use. So the first three that you're going to use are the three centre ones. And there's your veiner. So we're going to roll a piece of paste. Oh, sorry, that was pale pink, even though you can't see that it is. And flower paste I've got here. You don't want to go too fine with this, because um, you have nothing to work with if you go too fine. So, a little piece of corn flour on here. A 
onto your forming pad onto the that's why I put it on my forming pad because it really presses into it better and it gives you a better vein so you're able to see it better now if you're going to wire these there's two ways of doing it some people put a little weeny uh, piece of flower paste on here and then they stick it to here and you know different everyone has their own way of wiring something um, I personally just hold this and I'll hold it on my um, finger and thumb get your paste as far near to the tip of your finger as you can I'm going to put a little corn flour on here it's very hot and now I've dipped into the glue and now just just the very tip and start twisting and as you twist you can feel it on your hand twisting up your paste now you'd use a 28 gauge wire for this because they are they're not so heavy and they'll bend and curve for you so now that's wired to where I want it to be and I'm going to just put my thumb at the back of it and pull it and you can see what's happening and it gives you a nice shape to your petal like so now you can leave this aside and let it dry now I quite often just use whatever I've got on uh, my work surface but you can also you have a um, flower drying stand and all of this what you just need to make sure is that you're going to keep it curved like so. So I'm going to put it on here and let it curve like that. And then I'm going to do two more. So I shall come back in a second when I have them finished. So we've rolled. I've cut out a couple of these. We need three. Now they're the larger ones. So we've already prepared a couple. And the last one, exactly the same, put onto your forming pad, emboss. Make sure, I always just pick it back up again because if it gets stuck, this won't work and it can tear. And I then just leave this, I leave it aside, there's your vein, turn the vein over and you can put it down like this. And just leave it aside because you don't want it dry but it just helps if you leave it aside to just give that little bit of a curve for now right put your paste away and it's assembled now on um if at this stage um you know you're doing this in your kitchen and whatever i would seriously go now and make myself a cup of coffee and finish the cup of coffee before I came back to doing this. That just gives it enough time to just dry off for you. Because I think you need that little bit of experience to not um, do this too quickly. Because otherwise you, you can get yourself in a terrible pickle with it. So hopefully this all, of course, now I've said that, hopefully this all works out for us. So I'm, gonna, I'm still going to keep my pad here for a reason. Three of these on here and they're wired. Now you saw me doing these really just a couple, I would say five, six minutes ago. And there's our center. So upside down, bring this to here. And I'm going to put a bit of tape on. I'm not worrying about where the tape is going at the minute. I'm just and make sure they're the same height not worrying if they're not down on the green properly just yet and roll and number three and onto there so all the paste still a little bit on the soft side and roll Now, with my tape, I'm coming down the wire, down. 
so I'll actually get to where the flower is and now I'm going to turn my tape back and come back up, down the wire or up the wire whichever way just gives me a little bit of stability not worrying too much I can do all the rest of that when it's all dried off and now go on to here Now if you have something like just a piece of kitchen roll or anything like this, you can just rest it on here and take my wider petals, I'm going to put my glue just along the edges, about, about a quarter of the way up and attach here don't be in a hurry pinch now you can see where I've put it on and I'm just going to and you can see what's happening there just touch it touch it right I'll come around this side And number two, and this is glue, this is glue that I've made, um, sugar glue, can be bought in your sugar craft shops. But if this flower has wire on it, the flower is not edible. So just remember that, fix it. And, and this isn't something that you can, you know, pick up and have a look at. You really do need time to let this set off. So we're going to leave this on the side. And... Let's fix, making sure, I'm just putting it and tit fading it to make sure that it's where I want it to be. Okay. Now I normally have um, a lump of foam, a lump of sponge or something just in front of me. And if you're brave enough, you'll pick it up and put it onto your sponge. But you know what? There's no reason why you can't leave it and you only need really about 15 20 minutes for this to set off for you in the meanwhile i'm just going to show you if i done this without the wires so i'll leave that here on the side and when i go without the wires i start off with the first three petals and what i do is i cut them and i leave them and really they should be as dry as you can possibly get them. I don't worry too much about my stamens. Now I've made some stamens here. I don't worry too much about these, but I'm gonna put a, you'll see what I put on the bottom here to um, bring all my flour together. So these are just drying off and you can see they're not dry, but they're drying. Be careful with your flour paste. Your flour paste will dry very quickly. So we'll do the first three, the second three, while they're still drying off a little. And the second three, just need a little. draw. So I put a little white fat on my fingers because that's just especially on a hot day it just stops it from sticking to you but you want this to stay on your board so when you're doing you can see it's moving but always roll from the middle outward from the middle inward so turn around and do the same thing. This is quite a tough flare paste so you can see that 
So if you don't like this consistency, just add a tiny piece of sugar paste or modeling paste to it and it will uh, get softer for you and roll out, but then it takes a bit longer to dry out. So there we are. Left, put a corn flour underneath, but of course we've put it over there. I'm just making sure it's dry and cut. Okay. I'm a great believer in using what you have. So, you know, if you, you haven't got, you know, sometimes you see demonstrating they have lots of equipment. Just look around. You know, kitchen roll holders are very good um, for formers and things like that. And even kitchen roll itself is uh, makes good formers. So does foil. So you can make sometimes in your kitchen and then you can still create these lovely flowers by just having the cutters. Okay, two, three, soften the edges. Soften the edge. You can frill these, you can, if you want to frill them, I give it that so they get a bit frillier. But on this occasion, I just want to soften, so I just come really down once. Turn this over. I have a veining tool here, so just very carefully come down the back. And so there's your little point that you just want to make but that will be better when you start to dry it off now around the corner around the back of me here I have some ice cream cones this is one of the things that you can use to help you out so to make it stay I'm just going to put a little paste around the top. This is going to get covered up when it's inside your flower, so don't worry about it. Right, just making sure that it moves. And then I'll start. If you want the flower to go down onto your board, Take a piece out of it. Craft knife, just turn on it. Okay, a little glue. Cut this a little piece more, she says. Little glue. I think sometimes the hardest part is leaving these when we're first starting off and we're first, you know, saying, oh, if this works for me and so on. It's walking away and leaving it. And then just on and go from the outside. Pop this on. Either side. Curve it, curve it slightly. You can see what I'm doing with my fingers. Pinch it in. And then the next one. So 
sometimes when you're demonstrating and you're in a hurry, and which I think I've done exactly on this one, and I get the, I do the back instead of the front and the front instead of the back and so you can see what's happening. It's all coming together. Stay. And then this is the last one. Turn it over. And onto there. Always easier when it's facing you. So you've got. Now you have to leave this, I promise you, for as long as you can. And when you're done, I'm going to put a puppet over there for a second. And when you've done with it, she says, this was done some days ago, so now. And if you have everything, oh no, it's stuck. Just get a knife and cut it out. Yeah. If you want to, yeah, yeah. I haven't removed your cone from the center. I made this one a few days ago, so it's nice and dry. I'm going to put a green piece in the bottom of it. So I've opened it up so that when I bring my stamens to it, just pinch them. Be a good idea if I put a little um, glue on in there, on there. And you can see it's quite a, a good piece on there. Pop a piece of glue into there and then into the center. So you've got your lilies in there, your stamens in there, sorry. I shall open them up for you and you can see. This has gone quite hard for me now. So you've got, so you've got like a longer florum lily for this one. Or if you want, put it on your soft piece of foam and as it's drying out a little piece more or let these dry for a little longer and you'll have it more opened for like a day lily, like so. So no wires, okay? And then of course you can put dusting on the backs and then color them up to be whatever color you, you choose, okay? And just coming back quickly to the wired one that we left on there just before we started our unwired one. Look how dry this is becoming. So if you had a piece of foil, pop it in the piece of foil and let those open up for you to be where, and there it'll stay. And then when it's all really dry, you'll be, they're so much easier to pick up and move around when they're dry. And they, then they're so much easier to dust and color up. So I'd be able to do this uh, I think about four o'clock this afternoon if I was uh, colouring it up. Yeah, so, and that's that.